Hey guys! In this video we will cover another few objectives for the MO200 exam. And namely how we can define a named range and name a table. Before we start, as always, I encourage you to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any new training content. And now let's begin. Let's begin with naming a table and for that we'll create the simplest table you can ever imagine. We click here, go to insert, table, click OK and here is our very own simple table. In order to name the table you have to like select it and go to table design and here you can give your table a name. Excel automatically gives it the name and you can rename it. The useful or <laughs> the good thing to know with table names or named ranges, named references in general is that this name mustn't begin with a number and mustn't contain any spaces. So I can, for example, name it table underscore two. Enter. Perfect. So now this is the table name and I can refer to it later on. Next up, how we can define a named range. So we can actually name a range of cells and then refer to it later on. For that, we need to know that this part here is the name box and usually it tells us the address of the current selection. So we have B41 and it's here. And in order to give this cell range a name, we click here and perhaps write range enter. The same rules apply, it mustn't begin with a number, it mustn't contain any spaces. In the same manner, we could also name a simple cell. When you want to edit your named ranges, references and so on, you go to the formulas tab and click name manager. Here are all your like names and you can edit them. We can edit this, for example, table name, edit and give it a new name and so on. And we, can, we could also delete those. So yeah guys, that is all for today. I hope you find it useful. If so, smash that like button and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.